New at six, a deadly virus killed one horse and now has a racetrack on lockdown in Phoenix. Some people are concerned it could spread to Tucson. With the rodeo beginning at the end of this month, hundreds of horses will be traveling to the old Pueblo. Nine Sides' Christina Myers has more on the highly contagious virus and the impact on the Tucson rodeo. More than 500 horses from all over the country come to Tucson to compete in many different rodeo events. But this year, some horse owners are on edge as an outbreak of horse herpes, or EHV, has rocked a number of states, including Arizona. Very fast, it's very deadly, and um, the signs that we see are wobbling, a fever, drooling, sometimes they're dribbling urine, they're staggering around their pen. A mayor at Turf Paradise Racetrack in Phoenix had to be euthanized after she showed symptoms of EHV. She and two other horses came from an infected track in New Mexico. The Phoenix Racetrack still under quarantine. Now humans cannot be infected with EHV, but we can help transmit the virus from one horse to another. So say I'm working on this horse right here, and then I move over and I start brushing this horse, I can carry the virus with me. That's a good boy, yeah. But Dr. Christine Staten with Adobe Veterinary Center says no need to worry here in Tucson, even with horses coming from Phoenix and out of state for the rodeo. Pima County is safe. The entire state of Arizona is safe. Nobody needs to be on quarantine other than the one racetrack up in Phoenix. Tucson Rodeo General Manager Gary Williams says they are confident the horse herpes outbreak is contained. If they do get word, though, other horses may have been infected, they already have a plan in place. That includes quarantine pens, checking health papers, and using separate water and feed buckets. But for now, the rodeo is set to begin as scheduled on February 20th. Christina Myers, KGA 9, on your side.